Hello, everybody. Okay, why is that not working? Okay, now if I go in, it'd be nice when I could start using an iPad instead of the phone for this. Come on, there we go. Boom. Okay, so I'm about 45 seconds behind. Ouch. All right. This is a bunch of stuff I've been collecting this week. Haven't cleared anything off my desk from previous videos, but that's okay. Okay, so I actually want to put that aside for now. So a bunch of different packages, different times. Let's see. Hmm, that one I'm suspicious about. Let's put that there. Oh, I made a head really big. Let's see. Ooh. Block out some of my fans. You probably hear my AC running. Decide I should turn it back on. I haven't had it on for hours. All right. So I'm 90. Actually, I know. I know what this should be. And I'm hoping I'm not too disappointed because Amazon put it in a baggie. I know I clicked, you know, send as gift, blah, blah, blah. I was hoping that was going to guarantee an outer box. I think this is the first time where that wasn't the case. Okay, so there's my usual receipts. Let's see what kind of condition this box is in. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right. So you got some mail, huh? How's the whole cutting down your purchasing going? It's not going well. <laughs> now, this is not a collector's box, that's for sure, because well dinged up but that was before it went in the bag I'm positive it's still nice new sealed I missed that on these it ignored this largely when it first came out even saw them at the dollar store for like four dollars still passed on them but nice the only problem is you're getting them from Amazon you're getting with an extra sticker so I would not call that a collector grade box by any means but this is the precursor to what Lego started with the uh, brickheads. Kind of cool, since I got a handful of the Masters, you know, Mega stuff. Of course, this is back in Mega Blocks, so what year are we talking? Da, 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 2015. So, nice, still sealed. And I'll cover the code there. So we got that. So I'm glad it wasn't completely destroyed because the uh, bag looked horrible. And since that is that, then I know for sure what this one is. Yep, Amazon.ca.
They had one of those nice momentary blip sails, and I just jumped on them. Oh, now see this one. Oh, this is. This one will make a box collector cry. Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay, so here, oh, look at that shape. That is horrible. Crunched. Oh, well, I guess it could have been worse, right? He match. Again, something I passed. I don't know, probably a dozen times in the dollar stores when they grabbed them for four dollars. Also missed out on the Master Chief. If anyone wants to hook me up with the Master Chief, whether it's the regular green one or the special one, I'm open to talking about it. And yes, there was there was a special Kubros Master Chief, probably an SDCC type. Oh, this is another 2015 set. A lot of boxes crushed. Contents are intact though. Still sealed up. So, He Man Skeletor. Yeah, no, it's. That was a pretty good deal. Again wasn't interested um actually i helped someone score a bunch of those on the two cents deals just wasn't my cup of tea then okay this one could be one of three different things and if it's what i'm hoping it is i'm gonna be upset because this baggy did not protect the box, and I can feel the crush. So I'm not happy. If I'm wrong, then I'll have something else at another time. Let's see. Mystery. This one is a mystery to me. Legitimately. And I'm looking at my screen instead of looking here, but that's okay. One of those lovely garbage receipts that I never look at. Mm -hmm. Okay, down there. I still haven't seen it. Oh, not what I thought. Uh -huh. Okay, but I wanted it. That's good. It is something I needed. So it's not bricks. <laughs> That's okay. April Fools. Uh, Tim Hortons. Five styles. Six cups each. Original Colombian dark roast French vanilla. Dark bold roast. All right. Not bricks, guys. There's no bricks in there. Just coffee. All right. This one, I'm a little, yeah, ha, <laughs> oops. This one, I'm a little worried about. I know what it is, but I'm concerned about the size. I'm hoping I'm just wrong on what the size should have been. I never set out to collect these, but it turns out I have... All of these that have been released in the last seven years or so. Aha. There we go. All right, another one of those pieces of paper I'm never going to look at. Let's see some 
bubble, cardboard box I don't need. The uh, most recent character encyclopedia. Oh, all right. Take that. With what I assume is a unique mall. They say it's exclusive, but I'd have to look online. The unfortunate part of buying any of these DK books is, you know, you lose a third of the book to the spacing for the figure. They haven't figured out another way of doing it, which is a shame. It makes the book so much bigger than necessary. Because if you take the figure out, it's like you got this big box of garbage. And you don't dare take that box out because it ruins the rest of the book. Um, $13, $14 on Amazon um, versus the $26 Canada, $19. Uh, actually, it's like $19.99 USA price tag. So. That's comparable or even better than what Costco is selling this for. And as far as I know, they still got them online at this price, so they're not hard to come by right now. Lots of uh, beautiful full page. I mean, this is not comprehensive by any means. They never are, but these are great books, especially for the... Uh, the young kids. Beautiful artwork, though. The photography's nice. I would love for DK. Is it DK? It's usually DK. Yeah, DK books to produce. I mean, I would. I think it'd be a, uh, something that'd be worth subscribing to. But to do this level of photography, I mean, this is beautiful. To do a full digital online, you know, every minifigure ever kind of deal. Whatever they can get their hands on to photograph, because it's beautiful. You know, it's not comprehensive because, you know, they'll tell you... You know, some stuff like, oh, you know, appears in one set, appears in three sets, but they won't give you much more info than that. You know, maybe the first set for a figure, they'll tell you. Still good reading. If you're a Star Wars fan, this is great. If you're a Lego fan, this is great. Um, can't hurt. It's not a lot. If the figure's exclusive, it pays for the book. Because people will turn around and still sell that book for 10 bucks on its own. Um, because for what you get, it's still worth 10 bucks in my opinion. The Lego Star Wars character encyclopedia, new edition. Do they brand it as 2020? Yeah, it is branded 2020. We had photography of that for a long time, like halfway through last year. I remember seeing first photos of that. Now... This was something I picked up early in the week. Let sit isolated after a little wipe down and such. This is a set I did not know I wanted or needed. Um, two different individuals in the last two weeks have been asking for information on my Warthog collection. The number of Warthogs I had access to videos and photography unfortunately once i post the stuff i don't keep too many archives you know of the raw footage and stuff so i told them they're going to have to take a look at everything i've posted which is still out there and uh well what's my collection 23 24 whatever it is warthogs and we were comparing lists and one off the top that they noticed i didn't have was this one FDY 56, the UNSC Builders Forge. I know someone at one point had mentioned it to me as I was collecting the Warthogs. And it kind of went over my head. I know I made no effort to look at this box art, to hunt it down, to do anything. And uh, this looks like one of the first attempts by Mega Constructs to give you a box set 
with a build with a manual for the primary build and then to offer up other possible builds using the same parts. So you'll have to deconstruct in part or in whole the main build. And uh, hey Colin, um, because this one predates the tank by like two years and I'm looking at the tank up there and that's another annoying one because there's you know like nine configurations or some nonsense I know there's the main instructions to do it once and then I had to acquire like six to nine other sets of instructions something like that and, and here's the, here's the uh, pain in the butt part mega constructs doesn't make it easy for you mega like Lego posts most of their instructions online not hard to find generally with these multi-build sets they easily post in their instructions area the main build from what I gather for both of these sets now they do not post the all the secondary builds PDFs but they're right there on their website and if you look elsewhere on their website for example if you look at the product section for this you can find six different PDFs the first one being the primary build five more for the rest which I didn't clue into until I'd watched someone else's video on this particular set and they had taken the time and effort to either get that info or got it somewhere else through link searching and they produced links to the five other manuals all sourced from mega constructs the links are straight to their server I just wish mega constructs wasn't trying to make our life hard and what they're trying to do is to get us to use an app clearly oh this box is a little beat up and has a different set link here so I'm a little worried this by the way use set the reason I got it for a super great price so um, going to be looking in for the first time so I'm hoping I'm not disappointed here but um, they want you to use their app and their app only works on tablets Android and iOS but only on a tablet won't work on my phone so being the resourceful guy that I am I hunted down the links and got some lasers done. I do like to work from uh, printed manuals. There we go. Wow, actually these are probably on par or better than uh, the Megas prints. And this is the uh, base build, I think. Of a, no, it's not the base build. These are out of order. But this is uh, the tank, the Scorpion tank from the looks of it. Small builds, but you get enough parts to build six different sets, mini builds. <clears throat> Maybe that is the primary build on the set. The Forge. Let's see. And this is, um, oh, I don't even remember the name. Is it the Banshee? No. This is horrible. My Halo knowledge being tested here. But yeah, these are beautiful. Nice small build. Wow. These came out looking really good. Is this supposed to be a cover each time? I don't know. So I'm going to put that there. Whoop, and there's my camera that no one's seeing right now. And this is some sort of gunnery position.
it would have been nice if it was just one print per page, but I find that's wasteful. This is best use of paper. So this, uh, I'll double check this online just to make sure that is complete. You know what? I like being able to see the builds. So I'm going to put those in the back. That's what I think. That feels like. So I'm going to take that. I know a lot of people who uh, like and subscribe to my content and stuff are not fans of this stuff. But you know what? Some are. Ooh, this one. Okay, yeah. So we'll just do it like that. I don't have to move anything. Scorpion tank. Oh, I can't remember what that name is. Oh, they're not upside down. Yeah, okay. I don't have a clue what this thing is. I will make an effort to find out before I build, I think. Beautiful instructions. And it's unfortunate that Mega has a lot of unique parts. It's not that you couldn't do this out of Lego. You're going to have to get creative. And like I said, Mega does have most of the instructions online, just like Lego does. And if you're interested in building any of their larger uh, master class level kind of sets, you could download those instructions and start planning and getting creative and working around the parts that you don't have. Okay, look at the last one. This is the important one, the Warthog. This is why I spent the money. By the way, 40 bucks used um, versus 160 to 200 new. And apparently, this was an exclusive in the Canadian market um, to either Walmart or Toys R Us. I know it's not branded as such because under Mega Constructs, uh, the stuff wasn't branded anymore as exclusive. Back in the Mega Blocks days, Every time they had an exclusive, they branded it pretty much, which usually was Toys R Us in Canada. And I'm not sure if the same exclusives held the Toys R Us in the States. So one, two, three, four, five. Wow, those are beautiful. I could absolutely produce a bound book with that. And that's... That's a beautiful high quality laser color. That is nice. All right, so the box, I'm going to cover the code because I'm, <laughs> there might be a chance I need it. Let's hope not. And again, the back. This is empty now. Let's see. So here goes nothing. Oh, it don't smell like disease. Okay. We can remove the coffee, I think. The joke is over on that one. Uh, checked Amazon. We'll have to pass at 50 bucks. I'll have to keep my eyes open, though. Really? Double check on that, because even yesterday, I thought I saw them cheaper. Double check that. Um, and they were both fulfilled by Amazon, so this wasn't third party. Um, I'm not sure who sold. But there's the original manual. That's good. 
Okay, it's supposed to be a red figure. And this gives you the forge build with the uh, little, was a mongoose? Little ATV. Nice little build. Oh, and a helmet. And the helmet build too. All right. Interesting. So I've got that. So. Um, as far as I know, this was a used build. And it looks like they put it back in the same bag. And all I'm going to do is do a spot check because there's honestly not much I can do about it this is one of those anonymous uh, Kijiji level deals the guy was really super nice and everything but definitely a little skittish on the meetup you know I got a lot of tan a lot of green it's like okay so the colors kind of look right but Original packaging is always good. Sign. And I'll have to double check that, but where are those parts common in this build? I will need to check. Definitely some cleaning will need to be done. There's a part for the mongoose, so that's a good sign. Um Let's see, what's the condition of the figure? Uh, hmm, hmm. This, 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 let's see. Two arms, a gun, leg. Okay, so what I'm not seeing, although it's getting closer, there's at least one piece I need to find if I'm happy. There's another gun. I don't want to dump them all out. Not yet. You know what, though? I'm going to assume it's in here. Because there's at least a hip joint. So is it the He-Man or the Skeletor you're looking for? Because I paid less than 35 for both of them on Amazon. So, yeah, if I can find your hookup for that, I definitely will. And here's the sad thing. I know they're dollar stores that still have these things. It's just that mine in the GTA, I think, finally dried up. Oh, boy. Come on. Uh, you know, I see his head, and it looks like it's the right head. Um, there's a, okay, shoulders. So, it's just the one hip, ha, ah, ha, 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 hip joint, hip joint. Let's see if I can do this right. I mean, the figure isn't the primary skeletal you need. Okay. I will check that. Okay, this is a good sign. Beautiful figure, too. Got a skull printed on the uh, screen, the face shield. Okay. You know what? I mean, he's in beautiful condition. That is great. Uh, this is probably not going to show up too good, but he's here. 
There, we've got both guns. Nice. And just a casual checking against the box art. Looks like his prints are correct, so that's good news. I will have to do... Might as well dump them now. I'm not going to do parts check now, but I do want to see them. Woo. Gotta be careful. Non airtight box. Bag, sorry. Well, that's an interesting, unique bit. Oh, you left some stuff together. That's okay. That's a bigger plate. I'm pretty confident. Honestly, if I could build the Warthog, I'll be a happy guy. So I've got some parts checking to do here. There's definitely stuff I can't replace. Like, that's not in Lego. A lot of unique bits. This particular piece is not Lego. Not, not a copy of their element style. And they got a lot of nice, unique stuff like this one here. The under, well, Mega Blocks and definitely under Mega Constructs, a lot of their sets move closer to a model as opposed to the, uh, the toyish look. Scale not necessarily any better than what Lego would do. Even proportions on a particular set. You know, a lot of sets still look like caricatures to me. All right. I got a lot to play with there. I'm going to put that in probably a Ziploc bag. So, yeah, I will definitely be checking for that uh, Skeletor set. Never seen them at the Dollaramas. No, Mega does. Um, Mega uh, has been just as good to me in the last four years as I was building up my Warthog collection, replacing uh, a handful of missing pieces, you know, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight pieces, and some of them going back like almost a decade. Uh, so Mega, Mega's customer service is pretty good. A little bit um, sketchy on the uh, following up on the emails. Like they always say they're going to send another email to let you know they're sending it. And you never know. <laughs> and then it just shows up two weeks later. Um, that's pretty consistent with me. Um, they replaced... Um, let me see. The yellow figure in one of the Flame Warthogs where I got one that had two left legs, literally. And all I needed was the other leg. And they sent me a whole new figure. And that set was four or five, five years old. They sent me that. Um... EVA's Last Stand, that set required a couple of pieces and I think a figure, and they came through for me on that. Uh, but yeah, they, they have fixed through a piece or two here and there. Um, wow. A quarter of a Mega Block set, unfortunately. You know, even new sealed is not a guarantee with Mega Blocks or Mega Constructs. Because so I've had difficulties with both. Whether it was missing parts or wrong parts. Um, two parts that weren't painted or printed that should have been. They replaced and fixed. But yeah, their customer service, you got to do a little dance. You can either start with uh, the Mega construct site or you can go to mattel.com and work your way through them hammer your way down through the site and um, you can order the parts based on your manual using the codes let's see based on these part codes now what's unfortunate is is that on their site not every code works when you key in. it's a pull down menu you key in this code, you know, MA, blah, 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 and, you you know, 12 digit code or whatever this is to get that unique part. And sometimes the codes don't work and you'll type it in a few times and you'll look really closely 
at your manual. Did you do it right? Did you do it wrong? And because um, sometimes, like, what's a zero or what's an O? To this day, I still can't tell you. So I'll try it both ways. Um, but yeah, they've been very good. Um, it's as close to Lego as you're going to get without it being Lego when it comes to the customer service. trying to think that I get stickers actually I got stickers too um I got a replacement set of stickers um so they've been yeah they've been very good to me you know I can't say that, that my experiences would be the same as everyone else's but uh yeah it's been pretty good I wish I had a little more light on this area a bit late for that but I don't know if that helps any. Yeah, I could have pre-lit a little better. Beautiful figure, though. And the white prints are nice. You know, the, the paint on it is just thin enough. One thing I didn't like with some of the figures they've done is when they have two tones on it or striping or whatever. It, the pain is so thick. And while some might look at that as a sign of quality, that's the paint that I find is going to chip off. It's too thick. Nice thin layer. Thick enough to get decent coverage. Like it could have been a, just a little bit more solid on the white. But this makes also makes it look slightly weathered, even though it's not weathered, it's not abused. These joints are perfect. Like, this has not been played with. It might have been assembled, but it wasn't played with. So when the guy told me that, yeah, his son had turned uh, 17 and stopped collecting, buying all this, you know, it's like, psh, I was glad to take it off his hands, especially for a rare set. It's probably the rarest non-convention set in the Halo theme. From Mega that I'm aware of so I'm happy to have it so this will assuming everything is here that officially means there's one set in the entire world that I do not have that has a Mega Warthog in it I have everything including the die cast metal one so there's just one now and that one set is a, uh, a reissue set can't remember the name of it of the, probably the largest warthog set because it's got that big gun thing big covenant gun on it but um yeah i just gotta acquire that new or used i like to pay use rates and get a use a new one but <laughs> i don't know if that's in the cards woo 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 not the parts, otherwise I'll have to construct one. See, they got some really unique parts. I don't want to try and have to rebuild one of those. For three months, I waited for one part from Mega. And it was for one of the white hogs. And it was a slope. And unfortunately, as you can see, Mega marbleizes their colors. So colors are not consistent. Well, a marbleized white has streaks of black and gray through it. So I end up taking a white Lego piece of very similar proportions. It wasn't an exact fit. And I used a uh, Sharpie marker. And I used um, soap. And a little bit of glycerol. And I would basically apply the marker, rub it off. Apply the marker, rub it off in different lines and stuff to replicate the marbleized look of the regular white pieces in the set and on video no one picked it out and then you know two months later whenever it was when i got the parts i replaced it with the authentic mega box part but it was it was good enough to get by on video so if you if I want to take a peek go find one of my white warthog videos on youtube and uh there should be a playlist and uh see if you can spot it 
but that's it. I think I'm done for the night. I I want to turn up my AC so it's a little better, which will make it a little louder. And then I want to put these parts somewhere. Since uh, I don't see any prints, I'll probably just straight up uh, give them a rinse. And I'm doing my best not to touch the hands, even though it's had enough days to isolate. So thanks for joining me on this uh, small brick haul. And next week, around this time, I should have what is probably going to be my most unique non-Lego brick set. Yes, it'll, it should qualify as the most unique and hardest to get non-Lego brick set. So thanks for joining me, Richard Martin, for our All Bricks Count. And uh, all coffee counts too. A eh? Canadian, A. Eh? And if I can find my mouse, we will sign off. Shazam.